So you had to realize when all these new defensive options between focus attacks. I mean, this is coming from Street Fighter 4 up into uh, into Scrub Fighter 5. When you have all these new options now, like focus attacks in, in, in Street Fighter 4, two, basically two supers. Um, you know, a lot of these things, you know, even a V-gauge at time, which was really trash for, I'm going to get into that a little, in a little bit. Um, but still having that option where you had to be more, where you can afford to be more careless, it kind of puts you in a situation where having skill doesn't matter as much because now you have more defensive options to spam. You see what I'm saying? Whereas before you had to be on point. Hell, even the parry mechanic in fucking in a uh, up in fucking uh, Scrub Fighter Five wasn't wasn't good. It was trash in comparison. It was more scrubby in comparison to what you had to do in Third Strike. You know, in in Five, the parry mechanic was just basically a button push. In Street Fighter Three. You had to push forward at a certain time to get that parry. So you had to risk getting hit. You had to know what you was doing. You can hold back in five and push that parry button and still get it. So you see what I mean? Like, it's less risk coming with these defensive options that they have. It's it's much less, it's much more, it, it's much less of a risk and um speaking of the v-gauge in five you have to think about it like the v-gauge was introduced in five um and it basically like as you're fighting the v-gauge fills up and once you activate it the character that you're using goes into like a super mode almost where they gain access to new moves the properties of other moves change or they might come out a little bit faster. You know what I'm saying? The character basically becomes a souped up version of themselves for the time limit that that V-gauge was out, uh, activated. Um, but you have to think, in a game like as badly made as Street Fighter V, well, Scrub Fighter V was, but I'm gonna call it Street Fighter just so people won't get confused. Certain characters had better V reversals than others. Some V reversals in this game were most most of the V reversals in this game was just fucking trash. Let's just call it what it is. But some of them were actually really good. You know, since some of these V reversals, you it wasn't even worth using your V gauge for. It wasn't even worth using your V gauge for. Because you had to use half of your V-Gauge just to activate a V-Reversal. And if you could just get grabbed out of your V-Reversal, which was, which was supposed to be like a defensive option that kind of made people back off of you. If it, Let's say if you're, if you're under a lot of pressure, right, and somebody's comboing you to fuck down. I'm talking about they whipping your ass. You had an option to basically do an attack that pushed them away from you. Right or r- rather, that that's what it was supposed to be. Because some characters were good, like their V versus was like good. Because certain characters, so, because some of their V reversals were just good, like really good, they can get away with like making a, a person back off of them. Where you had other characters, where if you do the V reversal. The opponent still had time to block it. And then on top of that, even as you're doing it, that character can get grabbed. Now, you got to take this into consideration with the frame lag, <laughs> with the input with the input delay that they intentionally put in the game. You can't even, on top of the fact, you can't even attack when you want to at the, at the moment that you want to because of that. 
you, you have the one defensive option that's supposed to back people off of you. For every, you know, not all characters have a good V, a v reversal. So it's not even an even playing field on that note. So they really fucked up with, with five. I mean, they fucked up in so many ways with five. It's not even funny. That's why I call it Scrub Fighter Five. Because it puts everybody in this position to where you have to worry about these. You have to worry about the same bullshit. It's not skill based anymore. It's based on what character you pick and how good that character is. More so than any other Street Fighter that came before it. So they really fucked up with that game. That's why I, I don't call it Street Fighter. It's it's not, it shouldn't be referred to as a Street Fighter game because it's not. It's Scrub Fighter Five. It's their way, it was Capcom's way of trying to make bad players look good in front of good players, which unfortunately were, the good players were like the Japanese, Korean players, uh, the Japanese uh, and Korean players, and the bad players for the most part were the American players in comparison with skill, right? Because hey, I'm going to put it like this. No American player has done an event where they went up against 100 people and beat all 100 of them. Y'all better go look up Daigo 1 versus 100 during Street Fighter 4. To even see that, <laughs> this dude went up against a hundred people and beat all of them. Like that's 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 wild. But but yeah, it's 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 less about skill and more about what character you pick. So unless you pick with, you know, who's considered quote unquote top tier, you're not going to have a good experience unless a person is just that garbage because the game basically gives them everything to make them think that they're good. So when I told people that during the time of Street Fighter V that they were making fighting games for people who didn't know how to play fighting games, that was the God honest truth. They were trying to bring in more money for themselves which as a business i can understand but don't kick the skill the skilled players that have been playing your franchise for like the past 15 years or more that spent money to go to the arcade spent money to you know saying hone their skills even bought the games it's like y'all took the attention off. I'm gonna let these cars pass. It's like y'all took the attention off of off of skillful competition, and you emphasize more on crowd pleasing. You know what I'm saying? It's like y'all focus less on skill and focus more on crowd pleasing. Now, in this in this context, crowd pleasing is akin to a window shopper. These are people that they want to look at something cool, but they'll never buy it. They'll never invest money into it. They'll never um, put time into it. You know, they just want to be able to see something cool. It's kind of like that whole controversy with Cammy's intro in in, uh, in five. The people that was complaining about that shit, it was stupid because here's the thing. Cammy's intro, you know, Cammy was always a character since Street Fighter 2. She wore a leotard. She was a part of the Shadow Dolls and they were flexible fighters. They had long legs. They were quick. They attacked fast. They were lethal. Um... And one of the main outfits that they had, well, what Cammy had, uh, was a leotard, right? And since Street Fighter Two, you know, she's been a character who shirt off her her legs and and such. 
and um during Street Fighter Five, one of her intro well her intro, um, the camera was kind of positioned in a way where, you know, it was almost like a crotch shot, basically. And when she jumped into the you know what I'm saying, on the screen. Um, but because people complained, you know, Capcom decided to, you know, change the angle and try to like censor it. But this was coming from people who didn't care to play Street Fighter at all. So why the hell would you even listen to that? But then going back to the fact that they were trying to bring more people in, they were trying to please people who had no intention on supporting the game at all. So, and then on top of that, think about it this, like this. Why would you bitch about a camera angle showing a cross shot when throughout the entire fight, she's wearing an outfit and doing moves that's giving you multiple crotch. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it was stupid. It was during that time where people just wanted to complain about some, complain about something. And I blame, um, what was that chick name? Uh, Anita Sarkeesian. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. I kind of blame her. Because she kind of started a wave that was kind of bullshit. I mean, she got caught up in a bunch of nonsense. I think her website and all her businesses got shut down or some shit, which she deserved a long time ago. Because she started a lot of bullshit in the, in the gaming community. But, but yeah, it was Capcom, they kind of spearheaded this whole thing. You know, because their franchise was never built on, you know what I'm saying, being scrubby. You know what I'm saying? Even the people that was just shooting fireballs back in the day, nonstop, they had to worry about something. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I mean, obviously now you can't just do that in these games and get away with it. But, you know, you had to worry about something. It's like, why are you focusing your attention on people who are bitching about your product and will never support it anyway, anyway, instead of focusing on the core gameplay aspect that made Street Fighter what it was in the first place and push that to the people that actually want to play it? You know what I'm saying? That's one of the reasons why, you know, video games have become so scrubby and they, they've become bad. You know, they put these as they, they put these elements in the game. I was going to say aspects, but they put these elements in the game that have no business being there. I mean, if we're talking about the common sense of business versus the comp versus the uh, the common sense of competition. And if you've been watching my YouTube for a long time, you know what that uh, what that theory is. The common sense of business versus the common sense of competition. And I'm going to talk about that next.